here is his body and then head. And what I did here, are you in there? Are you in there? Is I trimmed the transfer tape and the paper backing away. Look at that. Can't have that for the video. <laughs> I, <laughs> I trimmed the. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Serious time. <clears throat> yeah, professional. <clears throat> professional right. with that. I trimmed it after it was cut out and I put the transfer tape on. I took a razor knife and I trimmed away the excess transfer tape and the paper backing around it. So that way I can line it up on here. And I'll show you that. First I will apply the bottom part. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, I don't know who watched the vehicle. Um, the vehicle window one we did two weeks ago. It's the same process. Figure out where you want. I didn't really measure it because I was throwing it up here on the wall. But I want to split it in half with a piece of masking tape. Like that. Now this is Orcal 631. Um, indoor vinyl. It has adhesive that's safe for the paint and the drywall so you won't damage it when you remove it. But after I... Okay, so now that I have the piece down the middle and then I've taken the tape off of this side, I'm going to leave the tape here and we go back to that vinyl memory that I talked about when I did the, um, the window decal out in the parking lot. I'm just going to squeeze you the vinyl with the transfer tape on it so it knows where it's going. And then remove the paper backing. And we're going to roll it, roll it off. We'll pull it off. Little piece got hung up. Let me press it down. Oh look, I forgot to weed some stuff. Reverse weeding yeah. at its finest. <laughs> it happens. It does happen. So then I pull it all the way back until I get to that center tape. And then when I, I'm going to tear this off. You can use a knife or scissors, but I like to tear it off. But when you tear it off, make sure you tear back. If you tear forward, then the fibers of the paper might get stuck under the vinyl. So if you tear it back like that, then you can just rip it off like that. <clears throat> uh, make sure this masking tape's down on it. Now when I apply this, I want to try and get it as close to the wall as I can without sticking to it. And this will work with any uh, vinyl application. It'll help with the bubbles. If you're out here like this and you're rolling the vinyl on, you're more likely to trap bubbles. But if you hold it really close and then squeegee it, you have less chance of bubbles getting trapped behind the, the vinyl. Got all the wall imperfections showing up. That's okay. All right, now I'll remove the centerpiece masking tape. Maybe. Tried the hinge method yet? You don't know what you're missing out on. Yes, it's a very easy way to get things exactly where you want them. And then, like I did before, I'm gonna get this close to the wall as I can. And what again is this a decal off? 
R2 D2 from Star Wars. R2 D2, three piece, 12 by 24 inch pieces cut on, on like on the 24 inch mat. <clears throat> yeah, this is 12 by 24. So I'm gonna remove this by rolling the vinyl back, or rolling the transfer tape back, sorry. Don't pull out, roll back. Nice and slow in case any of those little pieces pop up. This is like my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely a satisfaction to removing yeah. the transfer tape. Especially when you see it coming off and there's no air bubbles. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. Success. This is where you get get overexcited, rip it <laughs> off, and end up tearing the vial or something. But in the, in the artwork, this is a little taller, and this is a little longer, so it's going to actually overlap a little bit. So I can get in here and figure out maybe where everything goes. This is where Sarah said she abandoned me during the live if I couldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you just, if you set your artwork up correctly, everything will line up. Hopefully. It's exciting. I'm just gonna tape it down extra so you can kind of see. This part isn't necessary, but if you can see all the lines are all now lined up. Go. Like a glove. Perfect. So then you just want to do the same exact thing. But because I cut these notches out, I go over here? Yeah. <clears throat> because I cut these notches out, you don't want to put the tape here because when you when you take off the backing, then all these little tabs are just gonna be swinging around and it'll be difficult to uh, apply. What you want to do is go straight across the center here. I'm just going to take these up out of the way. Make sure everything's lined up for the, for the last time. So it's the same th same kind of hinge method we did here, only it's this way. We're just gonna make sure I have my squeegee. All right. Very carefully. Pull this up. pieces up, maybe, slow and steady, slow and steady, I missed that piece but I'm just going to come back for it. Some other pieces don't want to come in there. Watch me struggle. Yeah. <laughs> you are live struggling. <laughs> That's okay. I know. It's the point. Everybody struggles. Everybody does.
All right. Struggle. I'm just going to squeeze this. Because it wasn't coming up. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> it's a virtue. Yeah. Susan, I'm going to say annihilate your last name, so I'm not going to try, but the struggle is real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, just goes to show you, it's not always easy. You know, the window decal on the car went on really well, so one of them had to mess up. I didn't mess it up yet. All right, all right, all right. No jinxing. Uh, Sarah Dice. R two D two. The struggle is real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, R two. Uh, one last piece being stuck. <laughs> oh, fingernail on there. Get it. They look, maybe you look bad, R2. Thought we was homies. <laughs> Thought we was homies. Oh my god. Sadie says, OMG. What type of vinyl do you use for car windows? 651. Or Cal 651 is what we use. The force is strong with this one. <laughs> I'm loving these. Bring them on. I just totally need this for my son's room. Sadie says, I'm nervous for you. I'm nervous too, girl. I'm sweating right now. Me too. <laughs> oh, I'm really yeah. close to the phone. My laugh is obnoxious. Sorry. This knife. This guy needs a little help. All right. All right. Serious time. Serious time. All right. Ooh. Hopefully. Alrighty. All right, just bring this down. Pray you didn't pull it out of place. Oh no, Susan says I missed you on Tuesday drove down from Elkton and you were closed. I'm oh. not sure where Elkton was. I feel terrible, but my eye, that was the beginning of the eye. Yes, I'm loving the likes because you succeeded. Look at that, guys. Yeah. That's beautiful. Hey. Yeah. Wait, just wait. Wait till it feels, perseverance. The, feels the transfer tape <laughs> off. I gotta watch me struggle with this half now. <laughs> I'm ready. So that's why we were closed periodically. I was here sometimes, sometimes I wasn't. Um, we tried to accommodate, but we may be closed tomorrow. <laughs> so Sarah can recover. So now I'm removing the tape. Our website won't be closed though. Um, this is start. So I removed the transfer tape for the top half of the second middle piece. And then this. This one will go easier. Hold this down. All right. Renee says, so cool. Not the scratched cornea, but the wall detail. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. <laughs> that is really neat. Da -na -na -na. Up close and personal. Get back there. Oh. Ha! There it is. And 
There it is. Now this top half, I didn't need to chop everything out like I did the bottom half, but for some reason I did. I just murdered it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just apply the top half. Uh, I did get a fold over here in the vinyl. You look right there, there's a fold. Sarah wants to zoom in there. So I'm actually not going to apply the vinyl, press down on the vinyl like right here, but I'm going to go around it. Here's a tip, guys. Hopefully it didn't do anything where I won't be able to line anything up, but... Again, avoiding that fold. Getting everything else. And slow. Yeah. Nice and slow rolling back pieces. I put the knife back there real close. Like if I pull back, this one's to tear. If I sneak my knife in there. If you can see that. No, I'm getting a terrible shot. I can kind of. Oh. Just kind of tear it off that way. There you go. So you may have to just. Nothing comes off easy ever. I'm just going to tear that. It's a pretty detailed design, too. Yeah, and um, you know, you just can't let it get it frustrated. I know a lot of people would be trying this. And they'd immediately blame the transfer tape instead of this is just how things are. <laughs> Ooh, oh, sorry, guys, I'm missing your comments. Sorry about the eye, Susan. I know. Thank you. She also says, hoping to make it down again in a couple of weeks. I look forward to it. Sarah scratched cornea. Ah, I know. Hello, Laura, I'm okay. And Tiffany, where did you get the big squeegee? Our website, right? That's the yellow yes. one? This one is um, 99? 99 cents. 99 cents on our website, antiupgraphicsupply.com. And then we yeah. also have this white de uh, decal. It's white squeegee. It has a, a four inch roller on it. You can see that. And then this is our blue squeegee. It has a felt edge. I'll show you what you do with the felt edge in a minute. So I'm just rolling this off. I remember I had the, the little crease there that I avoided uh, squeezing out. This is the moment. Is everything lined up? This is the moment. I can't take it. <laughs> Seam there, but that beautiful thing. What happens when you have a big detail? So what I'm gonna do with this? <clears throat> so crease. I'm just gonna pop it out from the wall, and then the squeegee with the felt edge. Why the felt, Kyle? Why the felt? <laughs> you don't want to put the plastic edge onto the vinyl because it can grab it and tear it. So the felt edge goes nice and smooth, like there's a little crease there. I'll pop this out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Press it down. Awesome, dude. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> I was nervous. <laughs> I'm impressed. Well, what else is good is on this textured wall, um, a lot of people will take a tennis ball and they'll roll it over the whole design to get into these screws, but you can also use this felt edge. Like if you get in here close, like look at this square. Yeah, it looks like it's on the wall, but when you actually go over it with this 
felt edge. Oh yeah. Now it's really on the wall. So you want to, I'd actually recommend going over the whole design after it's on there and just making sure it's, it's on there, but we won't go over the whole thing. All right. So, awesome. Up. One more this piece. Is it? The last layer. Not layer. What is it called? Piece? Piece. 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 All right. Yes. Piece. Whatever. Now, if you notice, I didn't cut out every single one. I just did some over here and then some over here. I probably could have just did one or two here and one or two here. But the more you cut out, the more chance you have, you're going to have. You're gonna line it up successfully. Come on, that didn't go on that easy, huh? I think. If you don't know yet, Kyle's perfectionist. <laughs> I can't tell if you guys are writing anything. It looks like the comments froze a little bit. So when they come back, I will definitely read them. Frozen. Frozen in time. Maybe no one's talking. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're bored. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know yet, this is a wall decal done with 631 of R2D2, done with three 12 by 24 pieces of vinyl. This was the first piece, second piece, and the third piece. So if you did just join, I did put cut these out, these little slots. So after, the, I did the, I lined up this piece with this piece the same way. And then I just tape it up on the wall, make sure everything's lined up. You can do one of these, make sure those are lined up. Hinge method right across this way. The anticipation's killing me, man. Killing you? Killing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I can see them now. All right. Ta da! It looks great. I love couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> love the Everyone's like, what is it? <laughs> this is a bunch of squares and boxes. Love the sign out front. Made it easy to find you guys this time. Yes, Susan. Kyle made that sign because he's a beast. Mary Jane, oh, we love you. Jane is watching in Delaware House Art, everybody. I don't know what that means. Um, Rebecca, what do y'all recommend for cleaning the mats? Oh, somebody answered and said, I clean my mats with Clorox, Clorox wipes and let it dry. It worked for me for a year and yeah. ha a half now. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't really have any suggestions. Do you, Kyle? No. Um, are those 12 inch wide sections? Yes. 12 yes, inch 12 by 24. Inch, 12 inch, 12 inch. Is it true that if you touch the vinyl, it loses sticky? No. The back. The back, the sticky no. part. No. I wouldn't. Well, <laughs> I'm magic, maybe. I don't know. Um, no, I don't believe that to be true at all. I mean, of course, if you're slapping on your hand and your, your hand's filled with oils and stuff, um, I wouldn't even be too concerned about that. Um, dropping it on the floor on, on all the dirt and stuff and then picking it up, it would it would cause a problem, but I don't think, I've, I've touched the back of decals and applied them to cars and never had any issues with it. It's just if it gets dirty, dust, things like that. All right. We'll do the top first. Roll the decal back. Oh, I'm going to do a little bit more uh, 
Did you call that reverse? Reverse weeding. Reverse weeding. I'm not sure if that's a technical term or not. Uh, I'm not sure if that piece will stay or go. Should I stay or should I go now? It's going now. Made the decision. <laughs> Made the decision. It's no longer part of the design, whether it wanted to be or not. I'm pretty sure it's just something that I forgot to eat. And then tear this off. Vinyl real close to the wall and then squeeze it up. I did the top half on this one first because it'll be easier to just drop this down and squeegee it. Finish it off. Huh, love this. Gonna have to try this. I do have baby wipes. Oh, I never tried baby wipes. Funny, I don't know which part. These comments are coming in so slow. I use Awesome from the Dollar Tree to clean my mats, spray, wipe, rinse, and air dry. Sounds like most like cleaning things. I have heard um, of Wait. the Awesome from the Dollar Store floor. So watch it be an important piece, lol. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you just need to adapt. <laughs> No, here's the here's the rest of the guy I chopped. Yeah. Luckily it wasn't important. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was super funny now looking back. Like, wow. Oh. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, she said, I am customizing a 24 inch by 48 inch cornhole hmm. game board at the moment. This will help so much. That's awesome. Yeah, call me or email me if you have any questions on how to set the artwork up or whatever. I can. more than happy to help. The most important thing is setting up the artwork before you even cut it. If the artwork is set up good, then the application should be a no. It should be a breeze, I should say. Um, it's just setting up the artwork correctly. Is that big squeegee on the website? Yes. There's three of them. That one's 99 cents. You have one with a ruler, a white one, and one with a felt edge. Kyle. Yep. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am, sir. <laughs> Roll the transfer tape off. Here we go. Going really slow for a fact. see that. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You guys are totally awesome, always helping people out. Thanks, Mary. It's totally, it's definitely why we do this. Yeah. We don't just sell vinyl at all. <laughs> That's why we opened a storefront, so we can see people face to face. Yeah. Uh, you just go over it with the felt edge, the blue squeegee. Or you can take a tennis ball, which is a lot of people do, and they'll roll over it. And you'll make sure all of the, the vinyl is adhered to the wall. That's where that piece was that I cut out. I love it. Oh, it came out so good.